But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Galatians 1 verse 8 How important it is to be immersed the word of God and to search out the glorious truths that are contained within its pages, but the serious consequences of perverting the truth of the gospel of Christ, who died for our sins, was buried for three days and rose from the dead, with a false, legalistic gospel, is fiercely criticized and condemned by Paul. When the good news of the gospel of the grace of God is distorted and twisted with false, legalistic, works-based, meritorious teachings, it is denounced by the Apostle Paul in the strongest language possible, but even if we, or an angel from heaven, should preach to you a gospel contrary to what we have preached, let him be accursed. Let him be damned. Such false teachers were an anathema in Paul's day and we should take note of this most serious warning in the 21st century too. Many people today are seeking after signs and wonders. Many have been hoodwinked into believing a false gospel through dreams and vision, some of which come from angels, spirit messengers, or extradimensional beings. But anything and everything that distorts the clear gospel of Christ, recorded in Holy Scripture must be strongly denounced and utterly rejected. There is only one message of salvation from our Father in heaven and that is, salvation is a free gift of God's grace alone through faith alone in Christ alone, where a man or woman is saved. Entirely apart from works of the law, without money and without price, without works and without any legalistic requirements imposed by man or denomination, by apostle or prophet, by oneself or even an angel from heaven. God commissioned the teaching of the gospel of salvation by grace through faith in Christ Jesus our Lord to the Apostle Paul, and we do well to take note of his sober warning. May we never be tempted away from the glorious gospel of Christ, which is clearly written in the unchanging of God's word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the God-breathed scriptures and the truth that they contain within their pages. Thank you that we are no longer under the law but are saved by grace through faith in Christ. Help me never to be enticed from this truth by another gospel, and give me discernment to recognize when the gospel of Christ is being compromised in any way. This I ask in Jesus' name, Amen.